Hi everyone, my name is Amy, one of your registered dietitians. I am so excited that you guys are here to join us for our new virtual kids cook at home cooking classes. We have a lot of great recipes that we are excited to cook alongside with all of you. We're gonna start every class the same that we have always done in the past and that's by washing our hands. We hope you guys enjoyed today's recipes. So let's go ahead, wash our hands and get started. Welcome back to another virtual kids cook at home cooking class. Today we are making our 10 minute burrito bowls. So if your family's looking for something for dinner tonight, you can definitely help out. I love these burrito bowls because they're really quick, they're really easy, but they taste so good. The first thing that we're going to do, if you haven't done so already, is cook up our brown rice. It's really easy if you buy a microwave bay of brown rice and can pop it right in the microwave to quickly heat it up in about 90 seconds or so. However, if you're like me and didn't have any of that on hand, you can take some normal brown rice and cook it over the stove top, of course, with an adult present. It takes a little bit longer, but sometimes I always like to make a little bit of extra to keep on hand for other recipes that I might make later in the week. Once you have your brown rice cooked, the first thing that we're going to do is wash our produce and get that prepped ahead of time as well. That way, once we make our, our burrito bowl and we heat it up, we can just add on our veggie toppings later. All right, so that's it. That's really the only two produce items that we have to wash and cut. We'll work on the rest of the items a little bit later. So I'm just gonna move some of my things aside so that I can make room on my cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and do my cherry tomatoes first. You can use grape tomatoes, you can use large tomatoes. The main goal is that your tomatoes are just cut up in some chunks, um, however size you like it, to add to your burrito bowl. So I might not need all of these. I'm just making it for myself today but the nice thing about the cherry tomatoes is that they are pretty small so if you want to leave them as they are you can go ahead and do so I like to at least cut mine in half that way all the tomato juices run out a little bit more into the burrito bowl as well so we've talked about knife skills a little bit in the past video virtual classes but as a reminder just be sure that when your knife is down then you can look away. But if you're picking up your knife and you have it in your hand, be sure that you're always watching where you're cutting. When I'm cutting a cherry tomato or something about this size, I like to hold it with two strong fingers and pick up my knife and carefully just saw through and pull and then set my knife down. I'm just gonna set those off to the side. The next thing I'm going to do is cut my lime. You really only need a little bit, but I, what I like to do is cut it in half and squeeze some of the juices over my burrito bowl once it's ready to be eaten. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it right in half. So be sure you have the strong claw, right? And be sure you have a good grip and then just slowly start to cut through your lime. So it works if you cut it in half, if you want to cut it in two quarters, so cut it each half one more time, you definitely can. Um, otherwise, we're going to set that aside so that we can use it for a little bit later. All right, the next step is to open up our can of black beans and then we're going to drain and rinse them. It's important to drain and rinse them. You can do especially beans and all canned vegetables just because it reduces the sodium a little bit more. But always remember when you use a can opener, the top of the can is going to be very sharp around the edges, so always be very careful. All right, I have my black beans. I only needed a little bit. I didn't need the whole can, so we'll set those there. Um, and our next step is to take a microwave safe bowl and we are going to mix in some brown rice, some black beans, some chicken, and let's add some color with some corn. So I chose some frozen corn 
You can also choose canned, just be sure that you drain and rinse it. Or if you have fresh corn that you maybe had corn on the cob, you can definitely chop that up and use that in this burrito bowl as well. So let's go ahead and add our ingredients. And you can measure this out if you'd like. Um, I'm just making enough for me, so I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of brown rice. Okay. Then I'm going to add some black beans. And if you want, you don't even have to use chicken in this recipe. Um, I have some rotisserie chicken on hand, so I'm going to add that in here. Otherwise, the beans are a great source of protein and fiber as well, so you don't even need the chicken. So I'll add some chicken in there. Again, a little bit goes a long way. And then let's add some frozen corn on top. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining me for today's virtual kids class. I hope you guys enjoyed your burrito bowl. I think they're gonna be a big hit for your family. Of course, we want you guys to sign up for our upcoming virtual kids classes, and you can do so at celebratemore.com slash kids cook at home. On that website, you can also find many other kid-friendly recipes that we've used in our past classes, and we have some resources for parents as well. And last but not least, we would love to see your photos. So please share them on social media, tag Coburns, and of course, use the hashtag KidsCookAtHome. We hope to see you guys again at our next class. Have a great day.